Welcome back to a new and short episode about line breaks in PHP. You probably have seen that when we put multiple echoes below each other and we refresh the browser, the echoes will not be placed below each other but it will continue on on the same line. So let me create some echoes and show you what I mean. Let's create the first one and say my name is Dari. Echo out, I live in the Netherlands. And let's create another one and let's say echo I like programming. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and let me zoom out and you can see that everything is printed on one line. Well the second line as well because if I zoom out you can see that everything is on one line. What we need to add in order for this to work is to add line breaks. And line breaks can be seen as a separator that are used to escape from continuing with the same line. And there are multiple ways how you could fix this issue. And the first one is a PHP code and this is the forward slash r forward slash n. So let's make the first sentence a little bit longer with forward slash r forward slash n. And let's say and I'm Dutch. And let's comment out the second and third line, save it, refresh it. And you can see that nothing is happening because with the forward slash r slash n, the line break will not be visible in the browser, but it will be in our PHP code. So what we actually can do to make this work is to use a function which inserts a HTML line break. And the name of the function is nl2br. And Whenever you work with functions, you need to put parentheses around the string. So let's do that. And let's go right in front of the string. Well, the parentheses. And let's write down nl2br. So let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that it works right now. But you probably might know that programmers are, well, pretty lazy. And this is a little bit too much work to do every time you want to echo something out. So what I will be using in this course, and I recommend you to do the same, is to use a HTML break. So let's remove our function. And right after Dutch, let's add a less than br greater than sign. Let's save it. Well, let's remove our comments right now. So let's save it. Refresh the browser. And let me add some spaces which is pretty handy as well. And I made a typo. This is not going good right now. So, all right, the first sentence is working. And since we're adding a break, you can see that it's going on on the next line. So let's do the same thing after the Netherlands. Let's add a break, save it, refresh it. And I live in the Netherlands is on a separate line and I like programming is on a separate line as well. What I actually do most of the times is to concatenate the break just to make it clearer. So the output will be like this. So after Dutch, I want to add another set of double quotes. I want to concatenate it with a punctuation mark and add another double quote. So let's save it, refresh it, and the output is, well, pretty much the same. And let's do the same thing after the Netherlands. Double quote, punctuation mark, double quote, save it, refresh it and the output is exactly the same. And the reason why I'm actually using a break is that every once in a while the last word will be a variable. So then you need to concatenate it. So I got pretty much used to it. Well, let me show you what I mean. Let's create a variable called Dutch and set it equal to Dutch. And let's replace I'm Dutch with variable Dutch. Let's save it refresh the browser and this is basically what I mean because we had to concatenate it because after Dutch well you pretty much have to and this is not necessary but I prefer to work like this this was it for this episode if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button